Core Kids warm up sequence starts with breathing exercise. So 10 breaths in or out, hands on the abdomen, trying to get your belly to rise and fall as you breathe. Everything else should be relaxed, knees should be bent, hands on the belly, nice slow breaths. This kind of calms the kids down and get them started for the rest of the exercises. Fist release, make a fist, spread your fingers out wide, make a fist, and repeat for three reps. Neck rolls. So you're going to turn your head from right to left, trying to keep your neck relaxed. If you can keep your head on the floor, great. I have my ponytails in the way, so I'm lifting my head up a little bit. But otherwise, keep your head down and your neck relaxed. Hands claps together for pullovers. And you're going to keep your elbows straight. Pull your arms as far over towards the floor as possible. Knees stay bent and the rest of your body stays relaxed. For alternating heel to ceiling, straighten out one leg, heel towards the ceiling, toe towards your face, while you press the other leg, foot flat into the floor. Try to get your top leg, knee, as straight as possible. Bottom leg pushes down hard into the floor, and see if you can get your legs to switch at the same time. For heavy baby kicks, Grab the outside of your foot. You're going to hold on to your foot as you alternate trying to kick one leg straight and then bend that knee to your chest as you kick the other leg straight. If you can't get your legs straight, just get them as straight as you can. You should feel a big stretch in the back side of the leg. For S switches, you're facing down. You're going to swing one arm up over your shoulder, the other arm under your shoulder, like you're trying to get your hands to clasp together behind your back. Relax your neck. Your neck shouldn't be extended looking up. Keep looking down, and that's it for that. Superman opposites on your belly. You're lifting up opposite arm, opposite leg, really trying to get a good Contraction in the rear end on the leg that's being lifted. Again, keep your head down. You don't need to have a head up in this exercise. Press ups, keeping your hips down on the ground. Straighten your arms out as much as you can. And you're going to have a big arch in your low back. Squeeze your butt cheeks as you do this. For upper body rolling, keep your legs out of the roll and try only to use your arms for the roll. So as you roll from your back to your belly, sweep your arm down and across your body. As you roll from your back, from your belly to your back, you're going to sweep your arm up to the ceiling and back into its original starting position. If you need to and you're struggling to get from your belly to your back, you can use your head and as you reach that arm up, look up and behind you, and that will assist. For lower body rolling, keep your arms out of the equation and use your legs to do the movement. So to get from your back to your belly, reach your leg up and across your body, and then from belly to back, kick your heel up to the sky and reach across your body. Superman rolling, both arms and legs off the ground, you're going to swing your arm back to get from your back, belly to your back, and then you're going to drive your knee over to get from your back to your belly. Creep rocks, rocking back and forth, keeping your spine neutral. Creep opposites, again keeping your spine neutral, lifting opposite hand and knee off the ground in a marching type of position. Creeping forward, using your toes, pressing through your toes, lifting up opposite hand and knee, propelling yourself forward just about six to eight inches. Creeping backwards, exact same thing. Hands. For figure four switches, if you start on your right side, your right hand is going to be down by your hip, right knees out to the side, left foot in front of the right. 
And what you're going to do is use your, take your right hand back behind you, but then roll across your hip to switch positions. Ankles are fairly close to each other in this position. You're trying to get a really tall spine. Figure four to low kneel. You're going to roll from the figure four all the way up onto the knee and sit down in between your feet onto um, by placing your hands in between your knees. You want to keep your heel as close to your rear end as possible as you do this and just roll up and sit right down onto your heel. Again, nice tall spine. Keep your front foot heel completely on the floor. Figure four to tall kneel. You're just continuing up into a lunge position. So you'll go from your back foot being flat on the ground, curling that toe up and extending through the hip so you get a nice tall spine. And that back butt cheek, the butt cheek of the knee that's on the ground is engaged and you're standing completely upright through that hip. All of these movements should be as smooth as possible. Last but not least, push back to squat and stand. You're going to start with your chest on the floor. Press yourself up onto your knees. Walk your hands back. Roll back onto your feet and come to a standing position. On the way back down, bend your knees. Take your hands to the floor. Walk your hands back out till you can put your knees on the floor. Take your chest back down to the floor. 